Hello and welcome to a new video about measurement. This time we are going to talk about display devices. How to display a specific measured value. Well, I have prepared here a little something. Two different versions. Ooh, one I dropped. Oops, oops. <laughs> Two different versions. Two examples of this. One example is an analog display. There is a scale, there's a pointer, the pointer is pointing to the measured value. In this case, it's a temperature measurement and it's a little bit below 20 degree. I don't believe this is accurate, but all right. This is more guessing instruments somewhere, a class written. No. This is from my, from my heating yeah, to measure. I see if I touch it, it it's, it's moving up. So I can see it's moving up. All right. So I touched it. I can see it's moving up. I can see a trend. This is, I mean, we're not accurate there, yeah? but we can see a trend that it's getting warmer now. So this is already something which we have here at this analog display. We can say, aha, uh -huh, interesting. Yeah? We can see immediately if there's a trend. However, we also have some parallax. So it, 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 we, the reading is different because there is a, a, a distance between the point and the scale. If I look at that way or that way or that way, yeah? so depending on which way I'm looking, I read another, I read another value. Of course, the correct way is to look straight. Huh? Then, all right. Yeah? But you see, also if the most accurate analog display would be there, it is easy to make some misinterpretation, huh? misreading. Here, if I turn on, there's written a number. Yeah? Here it's written 0 0.02. Zero well, it's not really possible to, to, to make something a misinterpretation of this. There are numbers written there, right? So I, it regardless if I look at this or this or this or this, regardless of the angle, it looks all right for me. Yeah? So if I'm reading this digital display, is a digital display, I am okay. Yeah? Immediately okay. Exactly know how much it is. However, you see now it's jumping. Different values. Is this a trend or not? I know, cannot really see if it's just noise or a trend. Here I've seen the trend very clearly. Here it's more or less guessing. Okay, but I can read it. All right. So let's let's write those things down. So basically we have the possibility of an analog display like that. Huh? Write it down. Analog display. And the other possibility is the digital display. Put this away. Here, on the plus side of this uh, benefit. Accurate reading, right? Accurate reading. No misreading. At least it's very hard to misread. Eh? I mean, if, if I can read numbers, I can read a digital display, All right? That's the downside here. Eh? So here we have downside on the analog display. Yeah. T 
due to pointer distance to scale misreadings are possible all right simply because i have i have a distance between the pointer somewhere there is the pointer so here we have the pointer and there is a there's a difference yeah? there's a height yeah? and if I look at this pointer from an angle now from the other side here is the pointer all right here's the pointer and here is the scale yeah? if I look at that direction I would see the pointer here if I look at that direction I can see the pointer here would, would, would be correct and if I look at that direction huh, I can see the pointer here simply because of this of this distance between the scale and the pointer right so this is the pointer I'm looking at this direction here we are okay parallax it's called parallaxe here on the plus side we said yeah trends are visible yeah fast reading of a trend okay so if the if the value is growing i can read i can even estimate if it's growing fast because the point is moving fast or if it's growing growing slow and the point is crawling but it's crawling yeah it's moving yeah here i cannot really estimate yeah here the downside of this i can just see changing numbers just see changing numbers trend is hard to determine. Then, what also is a benefit of this analog things here? Here you see there is the scale, and the scale has a minimum and a maximum value, and I can immediately see in, see in which area the pointer is. If it's somewhere low, if it's in the middle position, if it's high, in the high position, I can stand at the other end of the room and I can still, I cannot read the value, but I can tell if it's in the middle range. Yeah? So here we have very fast, fast reading. Of approximate size of value. Yeah? Usually those things are designed that the usual value, yeah, you can select the scale and the usual value should be in the middle. Yeah? So when you're standing somewhere in, in a control room yeah, and look at all those analog devices there in the panels yeah, and all this, those pointers are around in middle position, you can assume everything is fine. You don't need Often you don't need the exact value. Huh? You just need to know if the machine is running or not, yeah? or if something is off. Yeah? For instance, if you have a, a panel full of, I don't know, peering temperatures, yeah? peering segments. Yeah? There are peering segments inside a peering, and one is off. One is high friction, and you see this one drifting away. You can immediately tell from far away that if all pointers point in the right in the in the same direction and only one is off you can see it very fast yeah? if there are a lot of readings a lot of numbers just numbers a big number usually looks similar to a small number yeah? because usually you have leading zeros and so on so poo, yeah? 
So here it's hard. It's hard to 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 guess how to immediately see the size of value. Is this value big? Is it small? I have to read it, then I know. Yeah? But I have to read it. Yeah? Here, I already know, without really reading it. Yeah? So, uh, those are the things. Here, disadvantage here, accuracy is expensive. Yeah? Here. I don't have any moving coil, I don't have any moving iron, I just have the numbers and the numbers are displayed. Yeah? Of course, the, the higher price something is, the more accurate it is, but however, just the display, we are talking about the display, this does not really influence on the, on the accuracy. Right? Here it has, and here I have to pay for it. And I want to show you how to overcome this. Yeah? So here we see, uh -huh, now, is this a trend or not? I will simply start to measure now here some voltage. Uh, plug it in. Turn it on, turn it on. Then plug it in. And then we will see. Okay, now it is a stable reading. 14.019 volts. Uh, it was stable. And you see below there is written auto. Yeah? This is the auto uh, scaling function. And below you see a bar with a lot of dots. That's a quasi analog display, which should show if it's a low value or a high value with just these stripes or dots or whatever. Yeah? So if I, if I increase now the voltage, you can see This bar is also getting longer. Huh? Now we are in the middle of this of this measurement range. Huh? If it's in auto, this does not really help here yeah? because if I go down now, huh? here we are at 12, then we will probably switch automatically the measuring range huh? somewhere. Let's see where this is going to happen. At 4 volt, I guess. Ah, you see? Now it jumped again to f almost full scale. Yeah, this is because I switched this is switch switched to auto and I have changed the range. Now the range is from 0 to 4 volts. Huh? But however, I can see this like an analog display, yeah? quasi analog displays. Cool. This helps. This helps for uh, overcome those those downsides. Yeah? That we can see a trend. That we can see the size of a value immediately and see if something is off and so on. So that's a possibility. Why is it even important to see a trend? Huh? So I said, okay, there's a, there's a benefit that you can see a trend, that is something is getting more or it's getting less. Huh? Why is this important? Because often it's not just a measurement, often it's a chain of measurements. Huh? So one measurement after the other, and out of the measurements, we can determine or guess somehow the future. Yeah. Or at least we see interesting things in the past. Yeah. So having just one display device is often not enough. Sometimes I want to register and analyze the behavior of the measured value afterwards yeah, by just looking at the trend, yeah, at the at the curve, at the curve. Yeah. Therefore, I need registration devices. 
how such regi registration devices might look like, we will discuss in next video. Uh, next video is about line writers uh, and nowadays implementation of those things. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.